Hey guys, I uh, wanted to show you what I'm working on. This is the Teensy board, Teensy 3.0. Um, I got this board with the NeoPixel blade that I'm trying to work on. I have the NeoPixel blade all, all finished up and ready to go and now I'm working on the board and soldering the pins. Um, so these, the two boards that have to go together here. Um, Frederick recommends that you use these, uh, you know, these pins. Um, but first, you have to cut the, uh, you have to cut the leads that run between the VIN and the VUSB. And I have already done that. Um, they're on the inside, and that's why it's so important to do those first. Is because if you don't have those cut then you can't get your knife in there and you can't do it later um, very easy so he recommends um, putting the four pins in the corners um, a lot of guys uh, put these pins with the uh, with the plastic sheath there all the way around and uh, you know it's, it's easiest to do it that way um, I'm trying to stay away from doing that just because I know guys who have done that, and once they do that, they can no longer separate the boards. Um, if there's a problem with one of the boards, you end up throwing both boards in the garbage. And, I, and this being my first one, I don't want to do that if I can help it. So I am trying to follow Frederick's um, recommendations on just doing the four corners, which I have already done. Um, you can do the four corners and then you could probably use um, stranded wire but the problem with using this is if you've ever tried to strip both ends on a piece that small it's just about impossible you pull you know you pull the wire already off the sheathing if you try that you could probably use bare wire in fact i got a roll of that around here somewhere but what i've noticed is uh, it's really hard that stuff's really really Without the sheathing, it's it's not very stable and it wobbles around a lot, so it's it's quite difficult. You would probably struggle quite a bit getting all those wired in there with the bare wire. So you know, just using solid core bare bare wire, um, unless you got a really thick gauge. Um, so what I'm gonna do here, I thought I'd share is these pins. I'm doing the four corners with with the plastic here. And the good thing about the plastic, and the reason it's like that, is it keeps the boards separated, you know, perfectly where they need to be. And so that's a, you know, it's perfectly sandwiched. And so you have to have at least the four corners, as, as far as I could tell. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to attempt to do anyway, is I'm going to take my pliers, and I am going to pull out the pins from the plastic sheathing. And so that makes it so, you know, I can cut the wires with my snips if I have to, and then work the four corners out instead of just, you know, instead of just having the plastic all the way around and making it impossible to pull apart. Um, I'm just gonna have only the plastic on the four corners. And so, that's what I'm gonna attempt to do and I just thought I'd you know share that idea because you know the these pins are really heavy duty they're thick and so I don't think they're gonna be too hard to wear in there there's one and then you know you of course will have to you know, have to snip them off a little bit, I'm sure, but that at least gives me my four corners. And hopefully, I can do all the pins all the way around and everything will work great. I do plan on um, doing a build for the ten Teensy. Um, I probably will just do a bench test to see if I get everything going and figure out how to use. Um, a lot of the other features on the board and just kind of get more familiar with it um, before I make a build and put it inside um, so yeah I'll just probably just bench test um, test out some of the 
some of the capabilities with the board and using the NeoPixel. So anyway, I just thought I'd share that little idea that I had. Um, if you want more in-depth information on the Tinsy board, um, you could look at Mega to Sith. Um, Tom Tillman, he's done several videos. He's done several um, Tinsy boards and, and lots of NeoPixel blades. And so he really knows what he's doing. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed to his channel, I, I would. Especially if you're interested in the Teensy board, he's done quite a bit with it. Um, anyway, so I just shot. I oops, sorry. I thought I'd just share that idea with you. Um, it's. Uh, I think it's a good idea, and I'm hoping it works out. Thanks for watching.